Divorce court is a place few couples hope to end up, but according to the Florida Health Department's latest statistics, Seminole County averages more than 1,800 divorce cases a year. For the divorcing couple, court litigation can be stressful and costly. The alternative is a friendly negotiation process that occurs entirely outside of the courtroom. It's called family mediation. Mediation is a process that was adopted by the Supreme Court a number of years ago to help the litigants resolve their dispute. The uh, concept is that if the litigants resolve their dispute, they'll be happier with the outcome and it relieves the courts of having to deal with all the cases. For example, I have 1,700 cases assigned. If I had to try all 1,700 of those cases, we'd never get it done. So. Uh, mediation works about 75 to 80 percent of the time, so it resolves a good bit of the caseload. Judge Clayton Simmons has presided over hundreds of family law cases in Seminole County. Many of those cases involve divorce and related issues such as child custody, child support, division of property, and visitation rights. He sees family mediation as a more comfortable, creative, and kinder alternative to courtroom litigation. The parties can come to an agreement that is outside what the court could order. Uh, when the judge decides a case, he's bound by the rules of evidence and the law. The parties can work out something that might be outside of those parameters but still works for them. And as long as it's reasonable and fair and equitable, then the court has no problem ratifying it. Florida law requires all divorcing couples to go through family mediation before their divorce case goes to trial. The hope is that couples can resolve all or part of their issues with the help of a mediator. Hi, this is Castle Robertson, Mediation Department. Can I help you? Seminole County Court has a family mediation program open to divorcing couples with a combined income of $100,000 or less. Court mediation coordinators will help match your case with a court-contracted family mediator. The fee for this service is based on a sliding scale. You pay once you receive your order in the mail. You'll get a payment form and you'll take your fee to the clerk's office and that's on, at 301 Park Avenue at the domestic office. State law sets forth the fees charged for court-sponsored mediation. For couples with a combined income greater than $50,000 but less than $100,000, the fee is $80 per person per scheduled session. For couples whose combined income is less than $50,000, that fee is $40 per person per scheduled session. In mediation, the parties in the lawsuit meet with a Supreme Court certified mediator who helps them first of all, determine what the issues are, and secondly, explore the possible resolution to those issues so that the parties uh, come up with the solution. And by agreement, they work out their dispute rather than having to come in front of a judge and have the judge decide it for them. Unlike a judge, a family mediator does not interpret law, issue orders, or make decisions. A family mediator is a trained negotiator who cannot give legal advice. So let's meet a family mediator and find out how he or she can help. As a mediator, I help the couple to come up with um, alternatives to some of their problems and come up with different solutions than maybe they walked in the door with. Uh, and I work with them also to facilitate communication um, and help them relax. The state Supreme Court certifies family mediators after meeting certain education and training requirements. They are neutral, impartial, third parties capable of dealing with all issues in a divorce case, including alimony, child support, child custody, visitation rights, property distribution, and debt distribution. The process of family mediation begins once a person seeking a divorce files a petition for the dissolution of marriage here at the Seminole County Clerk of Court Family and Domestic Relations. Now let's walk through the steps of the process. Once a divorce petition is filed, 
The respondent, or spouse who receives the divorce summons, has 20 days from the date of receipt to file a response with the clerk of court. This is step two. We have an in-house mediation program that I think will be beneficial to you guys. Okay, but first you'll um, need to file a notice for trial. The petitioner or spouse who files for divorce can obtain a notice for trial from the court's website. It's www.flcourts18.org. Once the notice for trial is filed, the case goes to the proper case coordinator. I will review it for completeness, original signatures, and notary public stamps. And then you will be um, sent a pre-trial conference date along with um, a referral to mediation. The family trial coordinator sends out a pre-trial order that orders the parties to mediation. At this point, the divorcing couple can either schedule this mandatory mediation through the Seminole County Court Family Mediation Program or contact a private mediator. This is step four. This pretrial order contains an information for scheduling mediation form that the divorcing couple completes and then faxes or mails in to the mediation office. The form is found on the Seminole County Court website or on the third floor at the court administration office. This is step five. Good morning, Seminole Mediation. Can I help you? Next, the mediation department will process the information for scheduling mediation form and set a date for mediation. If either or both spouses choose to represent themselves, then the mediation department will call both individuals to coordinate the mediation. If both or either spouse is represented by an attorney, then the mediation department calls the attorneys to schedule the mediation. This is step six. Next, the petitioner and respondent will receive in the mail an order of referral to mediation with a date, time, and location of mediation from the judge assigned to their case. When litigants receive their mediation order, they need to read the order and be sure they understand where to go for mediation and also to understand how much they're expected to pay because they have to pay up front and they have to pay the amount ordered in the order. The final step prior to mediation is payment of the mediation fee as outlined by the court. A payment form is included in the order of referral to mediation. The fee can be paid in person at the Clerk of Court Family Division counter on the first floor of Seminole County Courthouse, or payment can be mailed in before the payment due date specified on the order. The day of family mediation has arrived and all parties will come here to the Seminole County Criminal Justice Center where all family mediation sessions are held. The divorcing couple can expect to spend up to two and a half hours in a family mediation session. Now, let's meet our hypothetical divorcing couple for the purposes of this reenactment. Jim and his wife Kelly have arrived on time and made prior arrangements to leave their children at home. This is their first mediation session and they are headed to the court administration office to await their scheduled appointment. Hello. Are you here for mediation? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Did you pay your fees already? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you fill these out for me, please? And as soon as you're finished, I'll be right back to get them. Once the divorcing spouses complete their forms, the family mediator will escort the couple back to the conference room. Hello, Kelly and Jim. Yeah. Hi, I'm Virginia Pointer. I'll be your mediator today. Hi. How are y'all doing? Good, thank you. Good. Did you have any trouble finding us today? No. Good. All righty. Well, we're ready to begin. Come on back. The mediation process begins with a brief introduction. Then the mediator will ask both parties to identify the issues that are in disagreement. Both sides have an opportunity to talk about their concerns in a calm, productive way. In this process, you two have more power now to come up with your own solution than going before the judge. Everything discussed in family mediation is strictly confidential. The information cannot be repeated by the mediator nor used in a divorce trial. Okay, another issue that's very important for both of you to know is that what happens in this room is confidential. Uh, I don't take any of this information outside of the room. The only exception to that would be if either of you reported child abuse or elder abuse, and I am mandated by law to report that. 
The mediator will encourage both sides to suggest possible solutions to each issue and dispute. The mediator may also suggest possible solutions. One of the things that can happen in family mediation is that more creative outcomes are possible um, in exploring what the different options are. Parties oftentimes come up with an agreement that maybe they hadn't even thought of before when you get all the issues on the table. At the end of the family mediation session, the mediator will create a document that outlines all resolutions mutually agreed upon. Each party then signs the document and it goes to the judge. The judge's role is to review the mediation agreement and once the judge is satisfied that the agreement was not coerced or there was no fraud, then the judge will ratify the agreement as long as it is equitable and deals properly with the issues and make the agreement part of the final judgment entered in the case. Family mediation is considered a success even if some of the issues are not resolved. If a couple resolves all of the issues, then they advance to a simple hearing before a judge to finalize their divorce. If issues remain, then the courts set a trial date. Mediation is a very, very positive process. It's less stressful. It is certainly successful most of the time. It saves money, it saves time, and in the final analysis, the people most affected by the outcome, that is the parties to the lawsuit, get to determine the outcome. And that, to me, is, is the most beneficial part of mediation. Family mediation can help make the divorce process more pleasant and productive for everyone involved. Seminole County Court is here to help you take advantage of this beneficial tool. Thank you for watching.